Hey everyone, Sean here and welcome to this uh, video. Today I wanted to uh, show uh, another way of getting your car washed or I guess detailed. Um, you know, car washing uh, has, if you, if you you know, believe it or not, um, have more ways than one to, you know, wash your vehicle, keep it, you know, and get it clean. Uh, whether, whether it be just a shampoo wash or rinseless wash, um, there's actually several, more several ways to go about it right U using either a cleaner or whatever um i have seen um newer things uh every single day you know as i you know uh continue to go into this rabbit hole of car detailing and uh these ideas kind of like uh sort of meld itself uh into this sort of so basically what this is is what i call a rinse boost wash quote unquote but basically, uh, it combines uh, several ideas from other sort of channels and stuff like that, including, of course, the mobile detailers. And, a, and then uh, particularly the rinseless wash part was something from Levi, like I've been sort of repeating. Uh, I saw Levi uh, do a sort of rinseless power wash with the Ego battery pressure washer. And it can siphon um, from a bucket and that bucket had rinseless wash in it. So it kind of like hatched an idea. In my head like oh you know i can kind of do uh i do a quote-unquote gravity feed setup but also throw in the rinses wash so hence why i have this uh, 10 gallon trash can that i converted into uh, a water sort of barrel if you will and uh, i added a hose spigot on the bottom in order for that to even make uh, make it possible but yes for this uh, boost wash uh, you'll also need some of uh, uh, some hoses and some like connectors and stuff like that and of course um, what you'll also need are quick connects just to make things a little easier but also uh, will also uh, make things more helpful is a shutoff valve or, or if, if you want to do more um, or multiple shutoff valves the more the merrier of any of those parts really because um, you know, being able, to, being able to quick connect and all that stuff, and shut off like any point of this setup, um, will com come pretty handy, it's especially if, like depending on how you do things, right? Uh, everyone's methods will be a little different. Of course, you know, you'll you'll need some gar uh, a garden hose of sorts, and a sprayer and all that fun stuff. But we'll get to that by the end. The most important thing you want, uh, you know, pretty much like the one of the big hearts of this particular setup is a pump motor uh, in this case uh, i got this uh, water pressure pump motor uh, on amazon uh, i forgot the the price point for it but uh, i'll leave all those products in the description below with the links and stuff like that they will they will be affiliate links and stuff like that so if you want to check those out um that'll be great it'll be uh, pretty uh, helpful anyway so um, this particular motor is a self priming, um, it can run dry and, uh, it has several things that I, I liked about it. So that's why I picked it up. And it also happened to have, uh, thread converters, uh, going from MPT to garden, uh, garden hose threads, which is why I uh, particularly picked this motor. There are, there are more than, uh, one, uh, there's more than, there are all kinds of like, pump motors out there on Amazon so you know kind of do your research and pick depending on what you are looking for but uh, this ha just happens to check off a lot of check uh, checklists or whatever boxes for me uh, what uh, f as to what I was looking for and it was um, it, it just fit right into my uh, method of this uh, rinse washing so uh, of course so yeah with that uh, this motor also um, does come with a wall outlet socket thing so uh, or you can pretty much plug plug into your wall um, you know it uses 110 volts uh, the amperage is not too bad it's, I think it's about like 1.7 at most so it's not too bad and it's not it's not particularly noisy it is kind of like um, clicks and stuff like that especially um, having a pressure switch feature so it'll definitely auto stop depending on the pressure that you set it at you can set the pressure by turning the Allen key and just turn it sort of manually, and then you you just you'll just figure out like uh, what kind of PSI you're going to be having to stop at. 
so anyways um right off the right out of the box i think it's like set at 45 psi for the cap but anyways um so yeah you'll definitely uh will need to have some sort of electricity and uh will also come in handy in this setup is a sort of rocker switch which i got off of amazon just a basic rocker switch but it really made things handy for this particular situation so uh pick pick uh, pick one up i would recommend it uh just for you to be able to like shut it off in case some something happens and you just uh wanted to shut off right away because otherwise um by itself you have uh once you plug it in it'll turn on the motor there's no actual off switch on the unit itself so that's why i picked up the switch so um you could run it without it but you know uh, you'll have to like unplug it plug it back in just to um get it going again anyway so after all that said um the hoses yes you'll need them like i said i just happen to have these like uh, stainless steel hoses because they're they were just lying around the garage so i repurposed them from a previous experiment and uh, was able to use them here so i kind of saved some money there but of course um after that with the quick connects and all that stuff uh, whether they be stainless steel or brass if you have them use them um i do have the garden hose uh right there and then at the end of it is a spray gun that uh, i wanted to check out for myself um it's a sort of spray gun used for irrigation purposes so um and it has like several um spray patterns depending on how hard you squeeze the trigger so uh, that's why i uh pick this one up in particular and it does come with a sort of um a quarter inch uh mbt inlet so that's why uh, i do have a converter of sorts to um connect to a quick connect and then thus I, i'm able to quick uh, connect into a garden hose so uh with all that that's the setup is essentially done there almost forgot to talk about the rinse and wash solution so since we have about eight gallons of uh, water in our container we're going to do about just about four ounces of rinse and wash into that container just about that two, uh, 256 to one dilution roughly but don't you don't really have to go precise as long as you're j uh, just under that dilution Otherwise, if you go over, you'll experience some streaking, which I had on, on my end in the past. But importantly, of course, we need a, well, sort of a dirty car. So my car was dirty um, from all the driving and stuff like that. And of course, the fog that was coming in at night. So all that lovely fogging brought in dirt. And the back was particularly super dirty, as you can kind of see here. Um, so that's why uh, you'll see the back a lot for this shot. And yeah, and you can definitely see all that dirt just wash off right away just from spraying um, with this particular gun. And it's uh, pretty cool, but the only caveat is that the trigger itself is really stiff. So your uh, forearm is going to feel it if you're not used to this type of uh, activity. So uh, yeah, so after that though, pretty much uh, from here on out, it's just a rinse wash method. Uh, so you just get the product on there. Uh, what's particularly cool about this step though is um, the pre-washing or uh, yeah, the pre-washing is also the rinse off. So you um, don't have to like pull out the garden hose and then just spray the water to rinse off all that harsh grit and dirt. Um, you're already doing that all in one step. And at the same time, you're applying the rinse list. So that's why I wanted to apply this idea in the first place or try it out. And uh, it turned out great. So um, the overall experiment was a su success. Um, you just essentially have a giant rinse and spray, uh, spray, especially with that uh, 10 gallon container or trash can holding all that rinse and solution. And um, uh, yeah, so I just kept spraying and spraying until I sprayed the entire car. And after all that spraying, um, I even went a little, little bonkers on it. And uh, even with that, I used like four to five gallons uh, for the pre-washing and I use the rest of that solution to dump it into my bucket and then that uh, that became the sort of bucket wash or bucket solution and then I put my uh, sponge rinse of sponge in there 
and uh, I went on with the contact wash. And for those who are curious with the uh, rinse and wash uh, product I'm using, uh, I've always been using DIY Detail. Um, that's been my go-to, my favorite rinse and wash. Of course, it's the version two um, of rinse and wash. I love the smell, I love the effectiveness of the cleaning power, and of course the lubricity. It's very, very um, nice to the touch, right? When using the sponge, but of course the towel, right? Which is, I love something about rinse and washing. Uh, you don't have to rinse off before the drying process because the rinse and wash itself is very, very slick or lubricous and, or lubricious and uh, it, it just feels nice when you're drying it off. So you don't have to worry about marring or anything like that, uh, especially with this method because you already rinsed off all that nasty grit and dirt, uh, applied that rinseless all in one go. So by the end of it, uh, uh, we have a clean, clean Corolla hatchback. Um, I love the results of it, you know, and I was a very ha happy uh, detailer, you know, that the method worked. Now, again, uh, is this the most practical method in the, you know, uh, I guess car detailing galaxy? No, <laughs> it definitely requires quite a bit. It's a you know, it essentially is a over-engineered version of a rinseless wash, but you know, um, the only thing like special about it is that you are rinsing off, but also applying rinseless at the same time. So if you're like worried about like, you know, um, just like gently misting the product onto your car, but still have that grit possibly there uh, for it to mar the paint or anything like that if you're worried you know if you're kind of like paranoid about rinse washing this rinse wash method definitely for sure can blast off all that grit and um dirt depending on what kind of spray gun you have at the end of that hose so use that whatever you want um the, you have the basics here right which is a container to hold the water and the rinse wash um hoses the, the motor Electricity, of course, and of course, um, the uh, any any method you want to spray it onto your car, right? As long as it has decent spraying power and uh, patterns and all that stuff, um, it's uh, it was it, it was interesting overall. This setup is also essentially kind of like a budget version of a pressure washer, right? Because the motor of itself kind of acts like you know, like a motor that you find in a pressure washer, in your typical pressure washer. But yeah, uh, I've actually, you know, added the pressure washer into this uh, sort of setup and it becomes a pump fed pressure washing system with that rinseless power. And it's actually really cool. I've actually tried it in a previous video. Uh, if you wanna, you know, check that out, I'll leave it in the, in the corner somewhere for you to click on. But yeah, uh, pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, if you want a more of a budget friendly setup, uh, the boost wash may be something for you, um, maybe, but um, it's just another way to have fun. So that's uh, the most important thing. Will I, will I do this like every single time? Probably not, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll definitely see about that. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, either way, we have a clean car. That's just one way to do it and, uh, when there are many other ways to do it as well. But if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd love to read them. Um, do you like rinses washing? You, you know, you want to take it to the next step or just do something a little different, you know, and stuff like that. Um, any, any related comments, leave it down below. Love to read them. Now, of course, if you found this uh, video to be entertaining or informative of some kind, uh, hit the like. Uh, and of course, I really highly appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button because it helps out. So, yep. So, that's pretty much it for me. This is the Again, I dub it as a rinseless boost wash because, you know, a rinseless pump wash would be kind of weird sounding. Uh, so that's why I kind of went with the boost wash because it uses a booster motor uh, for this method. So, uh, and I got this idea from several mobile details with the gravity feeding method and then uh, Eli with the, uh, the rinseless power washing. So, yeah. So anyways, uh, thank you very much. And that's it. So, uh, hope you guys have a good one, and uh, hope you guys can uh, keep it simple and clean. And hope to see you all 
in the next video. Sean out.